do 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 okay look how beautiful this looks today i'm going to make probably one of my favorite desserts I have ever made and that is this delicious strawberry shortcake you are never gonna believe that this is a healthier dessert this strawberry shortcake is grain free gluten free refined sugar free and could easily be paleo if you just substitute the whipped cream for a coconut cream okay so enough chit chat I cannot wait to share this recipe with you guys so let's get started we're gonna start with one pound of washed strawberries I'm going to cut the tops of the strawberries off with a paring knife and discard them in a little bowl and we're gonna slice the strawberries lengthwise. I like to actually hold the strawberry in one hand while I slice them, but if it's any easier for you, feel free to slice them on a chopping board. After we've sliced all the strawberries, I'm going to add about two to three tablespoons of maple syrup. If your strawberries are underripe or they're not in season, I would add an extra tablespoon for some extra sweetness. Then add the wedge of one lemon. This is going to help balance out a lot of the sweetness from the maple syrup and also give the strawberries a little more juice and freshness as well. Give it a quick stir with a rubber spatula and we're going to let it chill in the fridge for one to two hours. While the strawberries are chilling in the fridge, I'm going to start the strawberry shortcakes. Begin by preheating the oven to 350 degrees in a large bowl Add one cup of tapioca flour, one and a quarter cup of superfine almond flour, a half a teaspoon of baking soda, a half a teaspoon of salt, and here I am using Himalayan salt. This is such a super easy shortcake mix. We're just going to add the liquids to the dry ingredients as well. So we're gonna start with two whole eggs. This mixture really couldn't be any easier by just having one bowl to mix everything together. One tablespoon maple syrup, two tablespoons olive oil, and I'm using extra virgin olive oil. You could easily use melted coconut oil, melted ghee, or avocado oil. Then we're gonna add one and a half teaspoons of vanilla extract. The vanilla just really boosts the flavors and makes the strawberries and the whipped cream just so delicious. Then I'm going to zest a quarter of a lemon and add the zest to our batter. Now take a rubber spatula and we're going to thoroughly mix the entire batter together. We don't want any of the flour on the sides, we wanna make sure we're scraping all the sides and it's fully incorporated. You're gonna notice that the batter is a thicker cake-like consistency. Next take a baking sheet and we're going to add parchment paper. Then I'm going to take a cookie scooper and I want to take one full scoop of our batter and place it on the cookie sheet. And this is going to give me six shortbreads. I'm going to bake these in the oven for 20 to 25 minutes until they're lightly golden brown and the shortbreads have puffed and the tops have cracked. While the shortbread is baking in the oven, I'm going to whip my whipped cream. I chilled this bowl in the freezer for about 15 minutes, pulled it out, and I'm going to add cream. If you have an electric mixer, feel free to use that. I was too lazy to pull out my KitchenAid, and so I'm going to just give myself a nice little arm workout and whisk this for about three minutes. Luckily, this chilled bowl trick makes this process go a little faster. To sweeten the whipped cream, we're going to start with adding two to three tablespoons of maple syrup, and then I'm going to whisk it, and if I wanna make it a little sweeter, I'm going to add more. And if you didn't know, maple syrup is actually healthy. It contains antioxidants and anti-inflammatory properties, an unexpected source of essential minerals, including calcium, zinc, magnesium, and potassium. It doesn't hurt that it also tastes absolutely amazing as well. Our shortbreads are done. While it's still warm, I like to take a knife and cut it in half. As you can see, the inside is so beautiful. It's got little bubbles and the flavor is just so amazing. It's just like the right amount of sweetness. And I can also smell some of that lemon zest in there as well. Grab our strawberries from the fridge and we're going to add a heaping spoonful of the strawberries on top. Then I wanna do a big dollop of whipped cream. 
take the top of our strawberry shortcake, put it on top, whipped cream, some more strawberries, and then we're going to take some of that beautiful juice from the bottom of the strawberry bowl, and we're going to drizzle that on top. And oh my gosh, this looks absolutely beautiful, and it tastes amazing. Can we just take a minute to see how beautiful this looks? All right, so I'm gonna dig right in. Oh my goodness. All right, I'm gonna get a little bit of that cream. This shortbread deserves so much recognition. What I love about it is just the little hint of lemon complements the whole dish, and then I just love the vanilla with the strawberries and the whipped cream. You guys, this is truly an amazing dessert. You need to try it. Once you try it, you will be blown away with how delicious a healthier dessert can be. All right, so that's it for this recipe. Thank you guys so much for joining me. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe. I make recipes every single week inspiring you to cook fresh food to your table. I also have down below in the description box the recipe if you guys wanna go over to my blog and print it out. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.